Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem. So, we have a mission, and we are going to uh, find out what Sylvain's brother has been up to. So, let's jump in. He's stolen the late Lance of Ruin, and we need to retrieve it. Yes. So, the Gautier Inheritance. A group of thieves led by a disowned son of House Gautier, uh, Gautier have stolen a hero's relic and have begun to run amok. Seeking to neutralize this threat, the church is sending your house there to settle the matter. To Conad, to Conand Tower. We will deploy. So, save it up. Let's go. The Gautier Inheritance. Uh, White Clouds, Chapter 5, Tower of Black Winds. Say, Teach, this must be the tower, don't you think? You know, even for a tower, it's pretty, um... You know, towering. Your way with words is masterful. It would prove difficult to attack. It's a remnant of ancient wars. Those thieves certainly found themselves a great place to nest. I hear their leader Miklon is a former noble. It makes sense that he would already know about this place. Several hundred years ago, this was an important stronghold for defusing invasions from the north. I forgot that Gilbert was coming with us. Back then, this tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. Gilbert, isn't it? You hail from the kingdom, right? No wonder you're so knowledgeable. While we're chatting so amicably, do you mind if I ask some questions? I don't mind. If I can answer them, I will. Have you ever seen the Lance of Ruin? I have. A long time ago. It was an impressive, if not eerily ominous, weapon to behold. According to Margrave Gautier, Miklon has used the lance to turn the tables on his pursuers. Apologies, it is Gautier. I forgot. Is that right? Then those without a crest can use it as well. Interesting. As far as I knew, that wasn't possible. And then we have the mythical sword of the creator, which can't be used by anyone except Teach, crest or no crest. Maybe you're just that special, Teach, or maybe there's something you're not telling us. Either way, I expect big things from you in this battle. Well, I'm relying on you, Claude. <laughs> Are you now? Then why don't you hand over the Sword of the Creator for a bit? Then again, it would just be a heavy blade in my hands. <sighs> there's no justice in this world, Teach. Uh, the rain is really coming down now. Let's finish this quickly. All right, so we're ready to go in here. Let's do our inventory. So, first things first, get anything out of the inventory which isn't needed. So, don't need this rusted axe, get rid of it. What else don't we need? Well, um, that seems fine. Probably don't need the broken training lance on uh, Lorenz, I would guess. Has he got anything that need? Yeah, he's fine in terms of lances. In terms of axes, we could probably give Hilda another one if we have one. Yeah, we'll give her an Iron Axe Plus. Sure. Raphael's good to go. Ignatz is well good to go. Leone doesn't need this one. Probably needs another Lance if we have one. She might be fine, but we'll, make, we'll get another one. Cyril needs an Axe, uh, of which we have a Training Axe. And we'll give him a Steel Axe as well. So, yeah, we need a lance for Leone, and that's about all we need, I think. Yeah, a lance for Leone should do. Okay, so. Let's jump over to the marketplace. Welcome. And buy Leone a lance. So, we'll buy her a an iron lance, sure. Is yeah. Is that the one? Good. Thanks a bunch. Okay. Now, Come in terms soon. of our units, we're only allowed 10, but I want Sylvain to be an actual unit. So who are we ditching? Well, um, we should ditch somebody. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe Cyril? He's the one I care about the least right now. So we'll ditch Cyril and have him be an adjutant of... 
uh, Sylvain maybe, and then that means that at least when Sylvain attacks, Cyril still gets um, XP. Yeah, that that seems like a good idea. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, uh, and then for him, do we set his inventory, or does he just come with what he comes with? We can't give him anything else. Okay, that's fine. Battalion-wise, um, well, we have one. Maybe I could give one to Claude? Because I have a lot of battalions now, actually. Yeah. We'll give him the Church of... We could give him the Church of Seraph Soldiers, or... Yeah, let's give him those. Sure, seems good. Although some of these have a much larger attack. Poison attack. We'll give him a poison attack one. Yeah. Um, Lorenz has one. A Hilda needs one. So Hilda can have, um... What do the bandits do? It's disturbance. Prevent, stops people from moving. Okay. And then maybe Leone can have one as well. She can have the merchant militia. Okay. We'll go something like that. So now we have a lot of uh, battalions as well, which is good. Do a save. And then look at the map. Let's quickly sort people out. Um... Well, given that you have a horse, you can probably now be further back, because we uh, will probably be able... He'll have faster movement. That's what I was thinking there. Which those two... Which those two... Oh, we can't move. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine, then. Something like that, then? That'll work. Uh, although maybe something like that. There we go. Right. Uh, you know what? I'll do another save so I don't have to reorganize. Then let's fight. Yes. Defeat the enemy commander. Alpax or Claude falls in battle or defeats. Okay. The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. Phew. Why did we have to climb so high before a battle? Eh, at least it's better than fighting in heavy rain. Don't hold back for my sake. My brother is going to pay for everything he's done. Hmm. Interesting. So we've got a chest over there. Um, which Claude can open because he we is he currently a thief? He's currently a thief. So we want Claude to get over there, but apart from that, actually that guy has the chest key, doesn't he? Uh he does have the chest key. Well, that's fine then. So, um, first move, let's just have a look at their ranges. Okay. I got this. So we probably want to line up something like this. Wait. Oh yeah, something like this. And just um, appear at the hey, edge here. Me? Yeah. I Ooh, he, look how far he can move. It's brilliant. Yeah, you can stand back there. Uh, Leone can it. head round into that one. Stay focused. We'll head round. We could have actually had him go into that further slot because nobody can reach it. Me? Okay. It's alright. I'm on it. Move over there. Um Ready and willing. Yeah. In here. Ready anytime. I could move him into that slot to get the item, but I'm not really that worried about it. I don't need another rusted Leave item. It to me. And then all the way over here. Cool. Enemy phase. Ally phase. So they're waiting for us to act this time, which is cool. So can I reach? I can't reach, so what I want to do is just take a step. Yeah, just step into combat. And then just chill out behind here. That's alright. We are in a little bit of a small area, which isn't really our ideal spot. That, that's alright. We, we'll get out of here eventually. Yeah. This is where I was saying we might need more range. Just because we can only really effectively use two rows right now. Oh, we're being attacked from behind. The captain's in trouble. Hurry up, you fools! Enemies approach from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank. Okay. Good to know. 
He'll just be hit. He'll just hit back. Good. Solid. Raphael's been hit. Raphael's hit back. Again, solid. Right. So the ones that are behind us, I don't know what if they're gonna run right in right now. But okay. Uh let's move all the way along here and attack from behind. Just with a uh with our iron lance probably. Yep. Grab the kill there. Good. You're outclassed. So then we can go for maybe a kill with Ignatz here. Nice. Getting closest to that level 10. Getting him to 10 would be great because I did it. Him being an I archer did. would just be fantastic for us because the extra bow range would fix my uh, range issue. Right. Move Hilda in. Move Raphael in. I'm fine if people are going to follow us. It's not really an issue. Oh, I can just use healing focus whenever I'm not in range of something. That's incredible. Yeah. To just heal 50% of his health whenever he's just not in range of something else. That's great to know. Okay. Over there. We could potentially aggro this group if I stood on that square, I think, but we don't need to do that. Okay. Move Claude in. Move Marianne in. Oh, I should have healed with her, but maybe we want to save our heals. This looks like it might take a bit longer. And then we'll just leave Sylvain at the back to handle the people who are going to be attacking us from behind. Okay. Oh, Gilbert's gone back. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm okay with Gilbert fighting them, but I don't really want them to die. That also explains why these are here, because these are for enemy ones, and I was kind of wor I was thinking, like, why are there enemy things behind there? But that makes a lot of sense now. Um, what do these guys range? Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna leave. Well, I'm gonna move Sylvain over a couple squares, and then he can go and join in next turn. Hilda, I think, is the one I want healed, so we'll get Marianne to, he to heal her. Yep. Hey. Nice. I don't think there's a turn limit on this one. So we should be okay uh, in terms of s being very slow. Uh, we head through here. We're not stepping on anything. Uh, continue further going up here. I might still send Claude around this way, even though he's not necessarily needed for it. Or, actually, you know what I should do? I should send Lorenz down there, because he can uh, run back as quickly. Uh, like, he can run back quicker than anyone else can. Yeah. Okay. And then Ignatz can run all the way up here. Nice. Though this person's attacking Sylvain. He gets to attack back twice. Okay, good. And yeah, you can see Cyril's still getting some levels off of that. And some support with Sylvain. Might need to do a, a uh, heal there. Okay, ally phase. The ally's gonna go and get the kill. Nice. Good. I cannot lose. Okay. So. Careful, please. He attacks in with Tempest Lant. He's not going to get the kill. Okay. Uh, I might bring Ignatz back and just get him to uh, attack in here. Yeah. That'll work. Good. We can now get Sylvain to attack in. And it's just a nice easy kill. Good. You're out of luck. Okay. Lorraine's gonna run in. Um I'll just 
Just want to path them myself there. Right. So that's not a kill. Tempest Lance isn't a kill with that. If I use the Iron Lance Plus, that has to be a it has to be the Steel Lance with Tempest Lance for a kill. That's still not a kill. I'm sure I saw a kill with one of those. Hmm. Okay. In which case, just attack normally then? Yeah. That's fine. We'll still get it when they attack uh, back next turn. One XP off level 11. Oh, you can move again after he attacks because he's got the uh, horse. Cool. Well, again, there's no turn limit, so there's no reason not to do this and just chill out at the edge here. Um, no, I want to use assist. Okay, never mind. I probably just want to stand still then. I want to heal Sylvain. Maybe like this? There we go. Just to keep him topped up. You're a big help. Nice. He's very, very close to maxing out Monk. Uh, and then we'll wait. Yeah. Good. So, now. enemy attacks. Oh, he's using the uh, thing. That's really bad. Because it means we can't attack back. So it will take us an extra turn here. Gilbert's running up. That's fine. I guess that's that's our turn timer. Is Gilbert running up? He forces things to move. Uh, okay. I'm on it. Sylvain, run up here. We'll do a heal. Just to get him back up to full. I owe you one. Nice. Getting closer there. Ignatz can move up. Uh, we will then attack in. Yeah, just with a normal attack. Perfect. Magnificent. That's level eleven. Nice. I thought I gave it my all. Okay. Still, HP is not bad. We got the chest key. It's gonna take us another turn to open, another turn to walk over, but that's all right. Then we'll just chill. There's no reason to move forward too quickly. More are continuing to spawn behind us, which is a bit weird, but okay. Maybe that's you, you're meant to speed you up as the constant spawning of enemies. Don't know. Gilbert's moving forward now, so we might go with Gilbert on this whole plan. But again, if there's no time limit, there's no reason to uh, go forward in quite the same rush. We got Armor Slayer. That sounds cool. Now you can move over here and pick up the uh, item. Rusted gauntlets. Uh, we'll send it back to the convoy. Okay. Um, let's think about this here. We're probably going to have to leave someone behind to fight. Or we just push on. Hmm. Marianne should probably move forward a little bit. Move Sylvain up. And we'll chill out here for at least a turn. Let these guys behind us catch up. Gilbert might attack them, looking at how close they are. But he's going to get blasted by the uh, magic users. Okay. Yep. Alright. Hmm. So we do need to go back and help him, because otherwise he will get blasted by the magic users. Um... Is that close enough? No. Okay. Well, how do we get close enough then? Well, you can do that. That's fine. Move Sylvain over. Um, we'll stick Ignatz in here slightly. Well, maybe I'll stick Raphael in there slightly. No, you can't get close enough to be a target. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll stick Ignatz in here. That will get one person to attack him, hopefully. Marianne can use Physic on Gilbert. Keep him topped up. 
Too kind. Nice. Maybe I should start splitting the group now, moving a group forward. Because I don't really like where we're fighting right now. I can get him all the way up here. Yeah, let's do it. Let, let's start moving forward as well as attacking behind us. Um, if we don't attack, we get double... If we don't use anything special, we can get two attacks in. Okay. Do it. Nice. Um, can anyone else get close enough to attack? Uh, no. Okay, that might be an issue. Well, let's pick up a training lance. Good that that was a lance, actually. Let's keep moving forward with this group. Um, might angle us back slightly. Lysithia can go forward. Right. Okay, magic user. Goes for Leone. That's okay. She'll survive. Although that was 20 damage. It's fairly solid. One attack Sylvain. That's okay. One's going for Ignatz. Ooh, Ignatz got the kill back. Fantastic. Uh -huh. It worked out. It did work out. Magic yeah. user on Sylvain. That's okay, because it's not on Gilbert. Magic user on Gilbert. Oh, he didn't take nearly as much damage as I thought he might from magic. Okay. Um Yeah, Gilbert's gonna steal the easy kill. Nice. Okay. For the goddess. Right. Lorenz, you can go back here and take kill this guy, right? Ooh. It has to do this, but that's okay. Solid. Yep. A trivial victory. And then he can move a little bit. Okay. Kilda could go in and chuck an axe. That's not great, though. Okay. Um. I get Sylvain to Careful, attack. Please. Let me just check here. There's one of these which is aggroing off the edge. I just want to know which one it is. Oh, it must be one of those, maybe? Yeah, it's, it's one of these guys. Okay. That's fine. It's just in the corner. Uh, unmark them. Is That one can attack over the corner, I think, is the trick there. That's going to hurt quite a lot, but that's okay, because he's going to be alive. There's a 0% crit here, so we can be sure that Sylvain will survive. Right, let's get Marianne in, and she can then uh, heal him. Yep. You're a big help. Nice. Getting closer to that level up. Right, Ignatz. Now he can attack in with a break shot, and that's a kill. That should be level 10 for him as well. Yeah. No hard feelings, right? Nice. Level 10. Strength increase is fantastic. Like yep. Hilda can now move back up. Oh, and then we've got the entire other side of the fight. Oh, no, don't use the Sword of the Creator. Um, ooh, what's Dark Spike's T do? It's good against horses. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't even check if that was going to kill. I just assumed it would. You were outmatched. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, so we can start moving along here. An enemy died in that bit? Really? Hmm. Well, there aren't any enemies up here. I'll manage. That's slightly worrying. 
Do you have a... Yeah, you have a heal. Nice. The ally's gonna start running up here. Fantastic. Oh, Gilbert might trigger those groups as he runs along the edge. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, heal Sylvain. Yeah. I owe you one. Don't know if we... Uh, maybe I should have just used heal. Oh, I used physic. That's fine. I'm yeah, I, I should have just used heal because I could have walked Sylvain up to that spot. Ignat's around there. Does he have a... Uh, he doesn't have any healing. Okay. And then Lorenz can start marching his way up to the front. Hilda. Um, Claude can get that item. Iron bow. Nice. Very good that you got one. Let's okay. get to it. Keep moving our way up. Lysithia moves her way up. And then we're done. Enemy phase. Ally phase. Gilbert triggers the enemies to the side. Okay, maybe that's what's meant to happen. Maybe that's why these are here, is so Gilbert can trigger these enemies. That seems possible. Yeah. Okay. Marianne, head up. Actually, we know where Marianne's gonna be, so I can move Ignatz up, and then heal there. Yep, and that's the last uh, point in Monk. Thank you. Perfect. So she is now level 11. Okay. Is this power really mine? Not too bad. And she's mastered skilled for Monk, okay. which gets her I've magic plus two and drawback. Hmm, okay, cool. We'll figure out what those are later. Right, um, and then here, well, we can just run along. That's fine. Yeah, I'm happy to just run along here. Uh, yeah, maybe this side. There's no more chests, are there? Yeah, there's no more chests. There is a guy off to the side here, though. There's an item. A an accuracy ring. Oh, we should definitely go around and get him. He looks optional, so... That seems good to go around and get, though. Right, head in there. Keep running up. Right. Oh! They just spawn here in. Here we go! Attack them from both sides! It's an ambush. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Well, now I know why there was a purple swirl there. And Gilbert can be shot over there, even though he takes zero no, damage. No. Child's play. Okay. So we might get shot by archers along the edge. Um... Right, Lysithia. First move for her seems very obvious. It's attack one of the ones behind her. Ooh, that's almost a kill, but that's fine. We'll use my asthma. Not so fast. That's a miss. That's horrible. Okay. Lorenz. I hate just using the same move on Lorenz, because it is lowering his Steel Lance's durability by a lot, but it is nice to have a free kill that we can run around. With 100% accuracy. Magnificent. That works. Um, Just move in here to stop them attacking Lysithia. Move Leone back. See, she could do the same thing. Um, if I use the Iron Lance, though, he gets less attacks. And she doesn't get killed either way. So let's do that, yeah. So there's only six damage back now. Okay. Hilda should be able to get the kill for the uh, axe. Yep. Oh, that's one damage off. Never mind. It's worth a shot. Have there anyone else who can try? Claude, maybe? Yeah, if I run back with Claude, uh, I can just use the training bow and finish that one off. There we go. That's the golden deer for you. Now we probably want to just back off here. 
Ooh, how far back did this, does this go? Alright, that's fine. So if we move around there, that's fine. And then we can move... That keeps going, huh? Yeah, that seems fine. We'll wait there. Next one, Marianne. We move right past. We only have two physics, so I'm just going to wait on that. Ignatz can move along. And Sylvain can move along. Nice. Solid. Okay. Um, more spawning. That seems fair. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with this. They're attacking Gilbert, but what's it gonna do? Child's play. Like Gilbert takes zero damage from the archers. Not enough. Child's play. Okay. Gilbert's turn. He's gonna kill that one in front of him? Maybe. Miss. Okay. Child's play. Fair enough. Well, maybe it's time for us to attack something again. It's been a while. Um, we don't kill everything in one hit anymore. I'm shocked. Okay. Uh, Rast Strike. I guess we did chain. Well, no, we're still the we're still that uh, Mer Mid Dawn class. So actually, no, we didn't. I was thinking maybe we lost strength when we switched to Thief, but we're not Thief, so we didn't essentially. Uh, if I use the Iron Gauntlets, nothing I do can make a kill happen here. Okay, well. That's fine. Hey, um, Lorenz. I just need another free kill, if that's alright. Um, yeah, okay. Good. You're outclassed. I'm still not good against magic users, but I'm beginning to understand. That's fine. Um, you can take a step back now. It's all right. Let's get Lysithia to get a kill here. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Good. I just worked harder. That's level ten for her. Magic. Great. There's still a long way to go. Okay. Um next step. Hit this guy with the I just just use the training gauntlets. Sure. Nice. Uh, I can then use Leone to kill this one with just a training lance. Nice. How do you like that? Level ten, not quite. Claude is gonna shoot the one in front of him with the uh, yeah, with one of the many iron bows. Yeah, just shoot him. Good. And then we'll get Hilda to attack in here with the uh, probably Iron Axe plus Smash. Oh, it's a crit from Hilda, of course. 60. Yeah, I'll do it. You're amazing. Yeah, she is. Um, we'll move along here. Nobody's hurt enough to need a heal. Ignatz can move along. And Sylvain can bring up the rear. Right. Gilbert's going for it. <laughs> he has no chill. He's just going. Is this guy a... Uh... Yeah, he looks like he has heavy armor, so it's probably not going to be the best one for Lorenz to attack. So I'll move Lorenz in there. Go all the way along. Although he does have Frozen Lance, which might work. Right. Um, you're not her, are you? Oh well. I'll use heal anyway. 
get Lysithia along. We'll start running along. Marianne. Uh, actually, there is somebody to heal, so I'll run her up and heal uh, Leonie. Of you. Nice. Okay. Move Hilda along. Move Leone along. Hilda's probably the best one to send in the back. She has Helm Splitter. Um, right. We'll get Ignatz in here. And then Sylvain can be here in case anybody attacks from behind. Right. More of them are shooting Gilbert. Not enough. Even more of them are shooting Gilbert. Child, not enough. Okay. Uh, the boss has been aggroed. Okay. <laughs> Gilbert aggroed the boss. That's um interesting. Right. Well, let's figure it out. Let's go with this first. Um, oh, apparently he gets a bonus. It's it had a little plus next to him, didn't it? Frozen Lance, maybe? Nice. That's level 12. Lorenz is flying ahead as the best in the class. Nobles must be strong. With amazing stats to boost. Just moving back. Can I get a kill here? I do zero damage. Okay, well, no would be the answer to can I get a kill here? With uh, that character anyway. Right, um, we'll move along. This is fine. Hilda can move along. Yep keep just moving people along this edge without actually getting them in range to be shot. Unfortunately, it does appear like the boss is aggroed, so it is going to run at us. So, that's a little bit problematic, but anyway. We'll do what we can. Yeah, we're actually not going to get items from all the people at the back, because the boss is... Let's yeah, careful. that's really bad, because the boss has been aggroed. Oh, he missed. Okay, good. Gilbert gonna steal our kill? Of course, Gilbert's gonna steal our kill. Never mind, he missed. Well, this seems like an easy first move. Yep. A trivial victory. Cool. Uh, just move down there for just now. Hilda, make your way along. We'll get, um, yeah, we'll get Claude in there. Get Raphael down to pick up the item. Leone can head down as well. We'll head down like this. Lysithia can head over. Continuing to avoid where the archers can actually hit us. Move all the way in there, and then... Yeah, just pop in around the side there of Sylvain. Nice. Boss is continuing to move. Well, at least some of the others are aggroing as well. I mean, that's a positive. Yeah. Oh, the whole lot's aggroed now. Oh, okay. That's worrying. Yeah, Gilbert at least can tank the archers, which is nice. Um, right. Let's go as far forward as possible there. Hilda can also go as far forward as possible. That's fine. Leone, down into the corner. We'll head in here. Lysithia around there. 
Get Ignatz right in. Sylvain's in. Marianne can head in here. Oh no, that wasn't what I meant to do. See, I was thinking I could get him healed by Marianne. Maybe I'll do that at the start of next turn. Okay. Everyone moves forward. Okay, I'm interested in this one. So Hilda only gets to hit back twice. So you used to do 30 damage next turn. That's quite a lot, really. All of these guys moving forward. Archers heading around to shoot us from the back. Not great, but okay. Gilbert's forward. Uh, can I attack right over that corner? No. All right. I could use a break. Yeah, but if you could kill this guy before you you can use a break, that'd be great. No, you can't. Okay. Well, can I attack over the top there? No. Well, Marianne, uh, plans have changed, and you now need to desperately heal Hilda. Oh, nice. Okay. Who me? Um, maybe I use a gambit. Yeah. Why not? I've got an idea. Miss. Okay, wonderful. I upgraded them. I was just thinking, because I can't kill him this turn. So if I attacked, he would then get two attacks back before we could attack again. So he would kill Hilda. But right now, he's unlikely to kill Hilda. So I thought that was a positive. Right, move over there. Move over there. Just trying to stay out of range of archer fire for just now, if that's possible. Does he have a heal? Yeah, he has a heal anyway, so we can just use that. Like Lysithia takes the step. Ignatz, I might get to shoot back at these guys, potentially. Sylvain in. Nice. Okay. So the boss is getting closer. Yep. See, Hilda would have died if we hadn't healed her there, and if we had attacked first, we, she also would have died. Child. Yep. I like watching them attack Gilbert. Not enough. That's definitely good. Okay. I would like all the items. However, I feel it's going to be really difficult to survive this without ever actually attacking Child. the boss. It's like, let's just let the boss with the hero relic attack us. That's not really going to fly, is it? Uh, Alright, good to see the archers are moving around a different path now. Good, okay. Gilbert's going to take the kill for himself, never mind. Okay. So first things first, Hilda. I could use a break. Uh, I think you should use Helm Splitter. Yes. That's a kill. Exactly. Sorry, did I hurt you? And a level 10. Not bad. I think. Yeah, I'm definitely tougher. And the Iron Axe broke, but she got an Accuracy Ring. So that's good. Um, next move... That guy's going to hit for quite a lot, isn't he? Yeah, probably. Uh, he's right now just going to attack Gilbert, which is good. Um, let's think here. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to attack in here. But I'm going to use the rushing blow to move forward. So that's a kill, and then it moves Raphael Strength forward hitter. into the group. Oh, received a heal. Nice. Um, we might head down this way. Can't kill directly. Maybe Wrath Strike? Or if I use the Iron Sword with nothing. Could use Assault Troops, and that would hit the boss. Yeah, 
Now's okay. Nice. Is that the one that means they can't move? Um. Well, I can't see what the uh, debuffs actually are. Wait, can I can I do it if I use? No. Okay. Can't see what debuffs are. Doesn't actually say. It just has the picture of some water splashing. Okay. Ignatz, I'm gonna kill that one who's in front of us anyway. Yep. So that's the easiest level up, well, easiest XP he'll ever get. Received the heal item. I'm worried actually, because all of these people are only dropping heal items. Um So yeah, I'm only I'm gonna get two attacks in, but I'm not gonna kill if I do that. Uh, Lysithia, I'd like to move in closer. Or I'd also like to move in Sylvain closer, so move him in that corner. Leone, I'll also move in. Although she can attack right now. Yeah, okay, she can javelin someone. Nice. Level 10. Good job. Strength, great. Gotta keep improving. And... It, she's now got, yeah, she's now got a spear, um, level B. Um, now you see, I could go in and attack the boss, but I don't want to attack the boss yet. So, we're gonna hold off there. Claude. Um, I might just move him in and attack. Yeah. That's one health. That's really annoying that that's one health he'd end at. But, okay, we'll attack him. Oh, he only attacked once anyway. Oh, because the bow broke. <laughs> oh, no. Um, move Lorenz in round the back there. Lysithia. Probably don't want to be in range of arrows. And Marianne gonna move down here and yeah can you just heal Sylvain up it's not very much health that he needs but uh, I do want him to attack the boss so Claude probably can't attack back now oh can for zero might yeah okay battalion leveled up nice Gilbert's gonna kill the- oh. Oh, try and kill the one who's attacking him here. It's fine. Um, okay. We can shoot back for four might. Yeah, really wish I wasn't using a broken bow. Claude's dead, okay. Yeah, well. Divine Pulse to turn back time. Right, where's Claude's move? Um, because really it's just Claude's move that I did wrong. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Ready and willing. Let's do this instead. Yeah. That should be better. Okay. Leave it to me. Then Lysithia. Well, then I'm going to move down Lorenz ready. down here. Lysithia can head into that spot that's now safe. Who, me? And Marianne is instead going to heal Claude. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Okay. This'll get him. So Gambit boosted assault troops on Gilbert, which misses. Fantastic, so it doesn't hit our entire group. <laughs> Gilbert has now killed this rogue this time instead of uh, no him getting two attacks in. Okay. Yeah. 
Ignatz is being shot at. That's okay, you can't shoot back. These ones are making Let's their way in. Gambit misses. Wonderful. Some more around here. Gilbert now attacks in. Great. Wonderful. I noticed that the uh, boss didn't move. Which is interesting. Anyway, do these guys all have uh, villainaries on them? Yep. 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 Okay, I'm less worried about getting the items now. Um, Hilda? I could use a break. Yeah, just make your way over. It's gonna be a while for her to get here. So, first move, I think Lorenz can kill that guy at the back. Yeah. That just seems sensible. It's an archer Naturally. who's no longer there. Ooh, he gets the rank up. Sword now breaker. The heart of it. Okay. We probably want to kill the ones in front of the boss. How are we going to do that? Lysithia? Oh, that will do it, yeah. Yep, just destroy him. This is what I do. Wonderful. So now we want to kill the one who's there. Um I got this. Well, let's do this first. Nice. Won that. Just opening a path. He has too many healing items. You know what? Send the bow back because you can't use bows. Let's get to it. I send Leone in here now. Um, training lance attacks twice. Yeah. Um, use poison tactic, which will hit the boss. Maybe. Um, I am going to use training lance. <laughs> Nice. Claude can now run in here and kill that one. Nice. Perfect. Try. He's now level eleven. Okay. Life doesn't always go as planned. More decks. Wouldn't won't say no. Get some hit on the battalion. And now it's time I'm for Sylvain it. to attack his brother. He'll end with one HP. Is it worth it for the stylish moment? Yes and no. <laughs> okay. We can get Ignatz to attack first. How much Ready damage can time. Ignatz do? <laughs> With the steel bow. Okay, so neither of them are gonna do much. Stay focused. We can attack first. Oh, he'll he'll wreck anyone. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Okay. She hasn't got any long range heals anymore. That is worrying. Heal him up. We're gonna wait here and heal up as well. Ignatz. You know what to do. It's heal time. Well, hopefully nobody dies. So, you think you can take the lance from me, huh? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you! Out of my way. Oh, it's a crit. Good point to note. I have yet to be Gilbert killed. doesn't die. For now, I must retreat. He leaves, but he isn't dead. Just thought I'd point that out here. Which is why I'm not immediately going to Divine Pulse to save Gilbert. <laughs> he's okay. <laughs> I, I believe he's okay. Right. She got hit by the assault troops. Not great. Okay. 
More people shooting Lorenz. Not worried. Okay. So. It could get rough. Lysithia can just one shot the boss. Oh, put him at one HP. Do it. That's perfect. Okay. So she's also mastered skills for Monk. So that is now a guaranteed kill. So we don't need to worry about it. I'm going to move her forward. And attack with... Just a training lance, I guess. Yep. Perfect. The reason I'm doing this is just to get the max amount of XP. Because the combat will end the moment I kill the boss, so... We might as well charge forward and get as much XP as possible. Um, Ignatz? Actually, yeah. Well, we can attack. Can I move with Claude? Yeah, okay. Claude's going to move down here. And he's going to curve shot for the kill. Nice. Never underestimate an outsider. Good. Now move Lorenz down. And he can Tempest Lance for the kill. Good. So he's getting close to level 13. Um, yeah, and just move back a step. We'll then take a step to the side. And kill him with the Iron Sword. Predictable. It's over. Oh, it's a crit. That'll do it, yep. That is that. Level 11. So we get a bunch Another of stuff. Forward. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. And now, Sylvain, it's time for you to get the final hit. Tempest Lance, let's go. Why have you come, you crest-bearing fool? I'm here for the Lance of Ruin, Miklon. Hand it over. I don't want to humiliate you, but I will. <sighs> Hurry up and die already. If not for you, if it hadn't been for you... Shut up! I'm so tired of hearing that. You've always blamed me for something that isn't my fault. Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. What the hell? Things have gotten severely weird. What the? Miklon, is that you? That form. Oh my. Is this your first time fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. A tutorial. All right. So monsters are a new type of enemy. An evil power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. 
They have multiple health you bars. Win, unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Okay, so once you get down the first health bar, they may have other abilities. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go. And that will likely cause confusion for that thing. It cannot counter while confused, which means that is the best time to attack. Okay, you got to use your well. Well, I'll let I'll just let the tutorial explain. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. Without the power flowing around them, they will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. Break all the barriers, get an extra item. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful on that front. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. You really must pay close attention to those things. Distract them with a gambit. Or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, think carefully before you act. Okay. And how'd you learn this all, anyway? But you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! Okay. Monsters, fairly straightforward. Um, they have multiple health bars. They have multiple barriers. You break the barriers, you confuse them so they can't attack you back. Get down the health bars, break all the barriers for an extra reward. How awful. So the hero's relics are hiding a terrible power within. I can't even tell friend from foe anymore. Now I feel for him, but the best we can do now is finish this quickly. Also, what's weird is that it looked like that corruption-y thing was coming from the crest stone or part of the holy relic, you know, the bit that's missing from ours. Thought that was intriguing, that's where this weird corruption-y thing is coming from. Okay. Well. I'm definitely worried about the, the boss. We're going to walk forward and chill here. Who, me? Yeah, you're going to chill here, I think. We're going to move Raphael forward. There are a lot of deaths in this area, unsurprisingly. Actually, fully move um, Lorenz back like this. Who still has gambits? You have a gambit, don't you? I think you have a gambit. No, uh, Leone has a gambit. Okay. That's fine. Uh, you can't move because you were hit by gambit on the previous turn, even though it teleported you. Actually, um... Here? Yeah, just heal up. Apologies. Nice. Claude is going to move around here, and we'll get Ignatz in, and then Sylvain. Happy I brought you, but you can chill here for just now, unless it the Leave it to me. Wait, what can you do? Draw back. Oh, that's, um, unit moves one space away from adjacent ally and pulls the ally along. Well, we could potentially use that to move when you're not allowed to move, but that's fine. We'll hold off. All right, well, that missed. That's really good. So, let's just check here. Um, it's got equipped the Crestone Gotti. It's got barrier. So barriers reduce damage by 50%. It makes critical hits impossible. Magic bind. If the unit lands a hit, foe is unable to use magic for one turn. And if the unit initiates combat, gains strength plus six until the end of the turn. Okay, that is going to hit all over. Let's start with Leone, move her over to this edge here, and use a gambit. Poison tactic. Let's go. Don't underestimate us. Uh. 
that doesn't do much damage, but it does poison and it breaks some barriers. Wait, did that? Yeah, so it broke that barrier and made all the others weaker. Um, now we're going to move Raphael in and we're going to get him to use Disturbance. I can help. So we didn't get the Gambit boost Here's an idea. and 100% chance of hitting. Nice. That's a level up to level 11. Perfect. Ooh. Breaks those two. We can then move in and use our gambit, the assault troops. I'll back you up. Nice. It's time. And that's the last of its barriers broken. Perfect. For that, we got five umbral steel. Cool. I'm gonna move Lorenz in. I do have a gambit on him as well. I was wondering actually if I wanted to try and get that XP. I think that's greedy. Uh, I also don't need to use a gambit on Lorenz. I can just attack. And that's a kill. Good. Don't you know who I am? Oh, and a crit. I assume when it said you couldn't crit, it meant you couldn't crit the, uh, while it had the barrier, so. Yeah. Okay. But even though we overkilled it significantly, um, well, it was still okay. Because it was the first health bar. Lysithia. Let's get an attack in here. Um... Dark Spikes T. Yeah. Fantastic. Ignatz, I'd love for you to get the kill. As it would catch you up by so much. But you're not quite there yet. Okay. We just use the Iron Bow here. Actually, if you use an Iron Bow and then use a... Um... Yeah, just shoot it. Okay. My moment has arrived. Oh no, he's gonna crit. Ah! For 18. Oh, that's fine. So he crit and he didn't cause any trouble. Now, I could try and get the kill with uh, Sylvain. But I think I want the kill with Ignatz because I want him to get the XP. So beyond... We've had our moment with Sylvain. And now it's Ignatz's moment to get the kill. Let me paint you a picture. And a crit, of course. Perfect. Final shot, crit, kill, ton of XP. I love it. And he got strength. It had another health bar. Oh, I thought it only had... Oh, I thought it only had two. All right, then. <laughs> um, well... Nosferatu. Yes. That's okay. No, I'll move Sylvain in. Maybe I will get Sylvain to have the last hit. Yeah, you just stand and look awkward there. So it was out for that turn. That's okay. So we'll move all the way around and attack it with a Nosferatu. Oh no, that will... Okay, so it can now hit back again. Alright, Lorenz, round here. Gambit it for an onslaught. Me too. Oh wow. That's oh, a ton of gambit have boosting. An idea. Okay. It's so close to being able to steal that uh, XP at the end of the turn. Um, I could use disturbance. Yep. Our power is yours. Perfect. Hey, I got an idea. You 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 right. And now, 
Just gonna move Marianne to the side uh, and get her to heal. Just for some XP. Nice. Sylvain, this is your kill. Tempest Lance, 100% chance of hitting. Let's go. What is that? It's like watching a bad dream come to life. Well done, Cyril, you really helped. Goddess, the beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. We defeated him, somehow. Let's grab the Lance and return to the monastery. Miklon, my brother. Yeah, you deserved MVP. Motivation maxed out. I guess it's if you do a main quest to get motivation. Okay, cool. That man, his form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Upon that side, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. Why? People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. Maybe they should. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Okay, fair point. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? I'm gonna show descent. I think people should know. His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Uh-huh. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. You knew that this would happen? Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. Nice work, Teach. It's thanks to you that we successfully completed our mission. As for Miklon, I wonder if he really believed he could wield a relic. Hmm. Hard to say. I bet he just wanted to get his hands on it, even though he knew he couldn't use it. Though I'm sure he wasn't counting on turning into a monster like that. I wonder if that monster represents another aspect of a hero's relics. What a strange and terrifying power. Yeah, because we know that Claude is very interested in relics for whatever reason, so I wonder if he's got more insight on this. Hmm, it seems so. Stories of misfortune have followed the hero's relics since ancient times. Oh, hello Tomas. Um, we were having a conversation without you, but okay. Tomas, you've caught me by surprise. That's not easy to do. Though I suppose I should have expected to see our librarian in his library. I am sorry to intrude. I simply heard you speaking of the hero's relics. I can tell you more about them if you'd like. The story goes that Nemesis was corrupted by evil because of the sword of the creator. 
Other heroes also lost themselves by continuing to use the relics, transforming into black beasts with twisted souls. That's a bit weird that he's telling us this because... Lady Rhea kind of made it sound like it wasn't common info. I suppose he is the librarian in the source of all knowledge, but she also made it sound like other people shouldn't know and he's just freely giving this information out. There used to be a great many records regarding the dark history of the relics. But maybe if he knows about our mission, maybe that's why he's doing it, but why would he know about our mission? He used to be. They have been destroyed across all of Fodlan, stripped from their shelves, including those that resided at this very library. You make it sound like the church is covering up the truth. But now that you mention it, Rhea was very specific about not wanting anyone to find out what happened at Conan Tower. Hey, Tomas, why are you telling us all of this? Asking the good questions. It seemed like you were searching for answers about the relics. What is a librarian if not a guide in the search for knowledge? And not only have you been searching, but you have been doing so through the night. I would suggest you stop before the night's notice. And that is enough meddling for today. Please excuse me. So I've been found out, have I? I suppose I do spend more time at the library than most students. But I won't stop. I can't afford to. What are you after? Teach. You don't really expect me to tell you something so personal just like that, do you? Though, I wouldn't mind sharing if you were to tell me some of your secrets in exchange. If I knew what my secrets were, I would. I can't let this exchange pass without comment. If you're sharing secrets, perhaps I can share one as well? Edelgard, interesting. Are you sure you could survive that? I'd say you're the least likely to share secrets out of everyone at the Academy. <laughs> Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. After all, you're easily the student with the most secrets. I'm afraid you overestimate me. My secrets don't amount to much. But back to teach. Don't try to change the subject, Claude. We're talking about secrets. Yours. Who is your father? And why did you appear so suddenly as if from nowhere? Asking the good questions again, Edelgard. Duke Regan's eldest son died in an accident. Having tragically lost other family members as well, he was without an heir. Uh huh. The Alliance would undoubtedly have been shaken if House Regan had lost its position of leadership. But then you showed up. Why did you return to House Regan? What brought you to the monastery? I would like to hear this as well. Oh boy, I'm trapped here. I have no choice but to surrender under your intimidating gazes. My dream, in truth, is a selfless dream but I require power to make it a reality. When I learned about the power of my crest, I knew I had a chance. So I'm chasing that dream, to the bitter end, if need be. I came to this monastery because I thought I might find someone useful, someone to help me on my path. So, what do you think? If you promise to help me achieve my dream, no matter what, I'll promise to tell you anything. I have my own dream to tend to. I pray that yours does not interfere with mine. What about you, Teach? Yes, if it's a noble dream. I see. Well, now isn't the time to discuss this. You are still my Teach, after all. Interesting. There are some definite... Professor. You have done well to complete such a difficult task. There, there's a lot of stuff going on that wasn't said directly there. A lot of subtext in that conversation. And I don't entirely know what it all means, but I have some of the pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. I haven't got all the corners yet, but we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll, we'll be able to fill in the middle once we do. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? 
Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Oh no. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? Mm, no. I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedeth. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. He has completely fallen apart in minutes. It's an interesting sight of him we haven't seen before. Part 1. White Clouds. Horsebow Moon. Rumors of a Reaper. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlan welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. Receive 5,000 gold from the Church of Saros as funding for this month's activities. Nice. That's a lot of gold. Oh, and immediately in. Lorenz would like to speak with you. Is now a good time? No. Because we're going to explore and we can speak to him then. I thought that was going to say Lorenz would like to speak with me. As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flane has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mach. Flane is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... What rumors? There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. Well, we have seen the Death Knight. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flane. The Knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Okay. What? Flane is missing? So, finding Flane is our mission for the month, I take it? Wait! Who's Flane? Said it's little sister. Surely you've seen her flitting about the monastery. She is the girl who looks about the same age as me, but seems well beyond her years. Sedith is much older than Flane. He's always looking out for her. He must be worried sick. If I were to go missing, I can't imagine what that would do to my brother. When searching for something, it's best to start by gathering information. Hopefully someone has seen Flame. Okay, well, we'll gather some information then. And we're at the Sunday. It's Petra's birthday. Let's do a tea party. Petra. I don't know. What have we got? Dried fruit from the south. Sure. You have my thanks for giving me your spare time. I have gratitude. Delicious. 
Yes. Do you like battling, Petra? Inspirational. Yeah, okay. What? How do you feel about equipment upkeep? I am in agreement. Yeah. Alright. Well. Alright. What about what about oh no. Which one of these is it? Is it Food? You like food? I am not in agreement. No. Okay, well that was a nice tea time. I will be waiting happily for you to be inviting me again. Okay. And now we are, well, the only thing we can do is explore. Cool, so that's what we're gonna do next time. We're gonna do it anyway. We have a bunch of support. Well, we have a support of Lorenz, actually, that's it. Um, I assume we don't have anything more of Sylvain. No, okay. It's unfortunate he hasn't asked to join us yet. He's had opportunities, but he hasn't done it. Okay. Also, what's interesting is that in the blue story, at the end of that mission, when they say return this lance to House Gautier, you get um, Sylvain comes along and you, he gets the lance. Now, does he have the lance if we recruit him? Or does he not have the lance anymore? That's, that's what I want to know. Is do, Would he have the lance if we recruited him now? That's interesting to find out. But we're going to have to find that out next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.